I'm so excited. I think my garden huckleberry is ready for transplant. Okay. But three shots at one. One, three. Hello, everybody. How are you all doing? I hope you're having a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day in Houston. It is nice and warm, and I'm just so happy to be here. So today we are going to be transplanting country jama jama, aka garden huckleberries. Yeah, it's ready for transplant. So it's been about four weeks since I nursed the garden huckleberry over here. About four weeks, yes, exactly four weeks yesterday. So nine. I nursed around spring break. Today is April the tenth, so it's about. So how you know that it's ready when it has four to five true leaves? I'm trying to see. So this one right here is not a true leaf. These are the true leaves. So one, two, three, four. About four to five, you know it is ready for transplant. Let's pull out another one. So, yeah, about that length. So the reason why you ha want to have about four to five true leaves is because you want uh, the plant to be able to photosynthesize and manufacture its own food when you transplant so it does not die. And additionally, when you're transplanting, you want to pick a day or transplant at a time when the sun is not too hot so today is a perfect day because it looks like it might even rain i might be lucky so either that or you transplant in the evening so that you know the sun does not kind of kill kill off your jamsu so let's transplant some jam and jama so here is that bamenda variety there was a label that i put in here it's not visible now but there we go so that's the Bamenda variety. It's quite a lot. Okay. I'm just gonna reach out at the bottom and pull. Oops. So I'm more rhythm. Another way, or quite frankly, the better way to do this is to just select the ones that you're going to transplant. That is the bigger, more viable plants. But that was going to be quite a process if I had to do that. So I'm just pulling out a bunch of plants right now. And then at the time of transplanting, I will select out the bigger plants, the more viable ones for transplanting. And then I will save the ones that don't make it to use for um, a salad or something like that. So nothing goes to waste. If you're new to this channel, hello and welcome. My name is Yaje and I'm passionate about wellness and I'm also an avid gardener. I do cultivate African heritage veggies in my backyard. I'm in zone 9 in Houston and I share the journey here with you so that I can inspire you to grow something as well, to grow something for your physical body and in the process also cultivate better mental and emotional health. I do hope you consider subscribing to this channel if you have not yet done so. I'm going to be transplanting the Njama Njama over here. Um, I've already prepared the beds. You know, it's rich in organic matter. It's a lot of compost in here. Chicken manure, cow manure. I've had it sit here for about a month. So it's ready to go. I added um, peat moss as well to 
into this space so it's really it's quite rich it's quite rich let's see flows easily it's not compact okay so this is where we're gonna put our jump so right here you can absolutely wear gloves but i'm just using my hands as my tool so what i'm looking for two healthy stems the one that is too small like this one i am going to deselect that one throw out that one so i'm planting two at a time that's just me so i'm using my fingers to dig a hole and then press it so i'm planting two at a time just in the event that one does not make it the other one will i don't know what the spacing is how many centimeters maybe five i don't know so the one that is too small and too weak that one is going to be part of my sandwich or something so i have my bowl collecting the weak ones over here which will be a lot these ones so i'm looking for healthy healthy ones to transplant the one that is too weak throw it out so this is gonna be part of my lunch or something keep going all of this is gonna be part of my lunch this goes back to the garden this right here for lunch yeah hello again and yes this is a very labor intensive process i am not going to lie but i find so much joy in doing it because i'm growing my own food this is gonna become dinner in a few weeks time so let's go back to why i put two plants in a hole instead of one because i did call mom and she warned me against putting two <laughs> that i should just do one because it might become overcrowded but I explained to her that I was scared of maybe one not making it. Two increases the chance that uh, the chances that one might make it. And if it becomes overcrowded, I can always prune out the extra one. So that's my rationale for putting two instead of one per hole. So yeah, let me know how you do yours. Um, in a few weeks again, it will be time to start to harvest. So you eat the leaves of the garden huckleberry. That's all I wanted to share with you. I hope you're inspired to grow something because when you grow anything, you do grow health. Look at me squatting. Look at all the movements in the garden. It's total body movement. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share. Thank you so much for the encouragement. I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.